Right, within this department is uh, plastic injection mould tooling. So all these machines you see behind me are all part of a process that will produce a plastic injection mould tool. If, if you look at anything plastic around the home, it will, it will have come out of a plastic injection mould tool. We start off with raw material, steel. If you look over my shoulder there, you'll see various machines down the left-hand side. Each one of those is a continuous process. It's a very long process and a very expensive process. When you look at a, mold, a plastic injection mould tool, you, you can be looking from £20,000 up to £200,000 in value. It's a very pressured job. I mean, being a toolmaker in itself, if, if you can imagine a human hair is 0.1 in diameter, then my guys are working to a tenth of a human hair's thickness. So my guys are working to 10 microns. It's serious stuff. There's a lot of money involved. Within this department, this is, this is all, all toolmakers in this department. We're very much fed from the design team. So the designer will, will have had a request from a, a customer. Then all the information will be sent to us and my guys will start to manufacture based on the design. The department has two key functions. The primary function is a repair section, which is at the very back end of the department. So that is the day-to-day -day interaction with production. The other side of that is we're not just a manufacturing outlet for the UK, we are now recognised as a global tool rig. So we, we manufacture moulds for Singapore, China, America, so all Brazil, so all, all around globally. 60% that are in here have come through the Element Titan Apprenticeship Scheme. So we have heavily, heavily focused on creating our own apprenticeships. Generally, the tool making apprenticeship is going to be five years. And because as you can imagine, you know, you look at the machinery we've got, there's a lot to learn. You'll, you'll have day release at college, way, so you'll go to college and you'll do your, your level two, your level three. I think from a school leaver or anybody coming up to school leaving aid, is looking at manufacturing in general and industry, we've got to be looking at, you know, the maths. My, my guys will work heavily on trigonometry. Working out angles is of vast importance to what we do. So anybody with a good grounding in maths, obviously English, technical drawing, them are key components that I'll be looking at. At the minute, from how I'm gauging tool making and engineering in general, is it's pretty buoyant out there. You know, it's, it's looking quite healthy. There's been a very, very vast technical advancement, certainly in the last 10 years. You've got to keep up with it. Everything now is about systems. So obviously, if, if you've got an IT, an IT mind, it's a starting point, but it isn't everything. It isn't everything. I mean, I'm looking for somebody who's analytical wants to take things apart, gets excited at using their hands and making things. But the core skills have got to be there in that person. When I look at an apprentice, I just want to see a bit of hunger, a bit of passion, not afraid to question. Got a bit of fire in the belly, shall we say. The industry, there's a serious skill shortage. If you've got that apprenticeship, you could probably potentially go and work anywhere in the world. You can have a very good living out of it working in manufacturing, without a shadow of a doubt. This industry has been underfunded and underinvested in for a lot of years. The vision of Element Titan is to invest in equipment. So for me, this is like playing for Real Madrid or Barcelona. You see your team develop because they've got good equipment, we invest in the people, and to think it's, it's all done here in Manchester.